you for your questions. I'm always intrigued by what you'd like to know, the things that I sometimes take for granted. So today, what's a DSLR and what is that thing around your neck? After watching my Fuji X-T20 review, one Abd Rahman asked, is this a DSLR? I'm a total noob. Well, you may be a novice, but it is an excellent and interesting question. And I can give you a simple answer, no. In the common language of 2017, the X-T20 is not a DSLR. But what does that mean? What is a DSLR? And what I suspect you really want to know is the quality less if it's not a DSLR. In 2017, the term DSLR is used to distinguish a camera that has a mirror prism from one that does not. So in 2017, the opposite of DSLR is mirrorless. Paul Marshman and I did a video comparing the two. So what's DSLR mean? D means digital, and SLR stands for Single Lens Reflex. SLR was a significant innovation back in the 19th century. Prior to that, and for many years afterwards, cameras had two lenses, one for the photographer to view and compose, the other for the film, or now sensor, to take the images. In those days, a non-DSLR camera was called a viewfinder or a rangefinder camera. The little window gives it away. Now clearly, there's an advantage to seeing the image through the same lens. But that's not the difference between DSLR and mirrorless. Both show you the scene you're shooting. In fact, a mirrorless camera shows you a little more precisely, previewing the exposure and other settings. A DSLR displays the image optically, while mirrorless cameras display an electronic image on a screen. Both types have their advocates and detractors. Now, to be more precise, the DSLR's optical viewfinder shows you the scene you're taking a picture of. The mirrorless electronic viewfinder shows you the photograph you're about to take. But none of that makes any difference to the image that's captured. Given the same sensor and lens, the elements that do make a difference, both types will capture the same image with the same quality. Both types are available with full frame and the smaller APS-C sensors in a wide range of prices. Although Sony makes a few DSLRs, for most consumers it's Canon and Nikon that are the DSLR makers. Deciding between the two is a matter of preference and weight, as DSLRs tend to be larger and heavier than mirrorless cameras. And then Evan asked about the Chroma Selfie I sometimes wear around my neck. It's one of a series of products developed by a Canadian company called DSC Labs. They make a lot of professional charts and alignment tools. Their charts appear frequently in my reviews, as they're useful for both testing and demonstrating. The Chroma Selfie is designed for pros as well as enthusiasts. There's a link below for more information and to order. Now the idea is that before or after you shoot stills or video in a specific lighting situation, you take a picture including the Chroma Selfie. I usually put it right beside the subject's face. That image becomes a reference for the rest of the pictures taken under those lighting conditions. DSC provides reference files for the Chroma Selfie, so you can make adjustments matching the DSC file to your reference image. And once you have the settings for the reference image, those can be used for the remainder of the images taken in that lighting situation. This does not eliminate the need to do a proper white balance, but it can help with some fine tuning while you're editing. So thanks for commenting. Always nice to hear from you. I do read and reply to all relevant and civil comments. And thanks for watching, for liking, and for subscribing. I appreciate them all.